Okay, on today's episode of Thriftmas, Merry Thriftmas, by the way, I am working on a piece that I thrifted actually last year. I just never got around to doing it, but this year I really want to get this painted and I want to set this up in the guest room because that is where the kids all stay when they come over and I want them to be able to play with this. And what this is, I found this, like I said, last year at a Goodwill and it was after Chris, was it before Christmas last year or after? I can't remember, <laughs> but it is a wooden nativity scene and it's got all the pieces. It's painted on both sides. I just don't necessarily like the colors of it. So here's the other wise man. Here's Mary, and then it has a couple um, little animals, and Joseph, and baby Jesus. And if you're an avid thrifter, you know that when you come across nativity scenes in the thrift store, most of the time, baby Jesus is missing every time. It's like, it's like kids must play with that and it gets lost the most. I don't know. But what I want to do is I want to paint these to kind of fit my style and my decor. Like I said, they are wood. You can see here on the bottom kind of what they're made out of. So I just want to give it a fresh coat of paint. And then I think around the edges, I want to do some antiquing wax. Just because if I decide that I don't want to use it in the kids' room, I can put it somewhere else in my house maybe next year, and it'll go ahead and fit into my decor. The reason I want to allow the kids to play with it is because I have two other nativity scenes that I have out, and I won't let them play with them because they are one is like glass, and the other one is... I don't know if it's porcelain or what exactly it's made out of, but I painted that one as well one year. <laughs> it was my grandparents, and so I'm just funny. They they do want to play with it, and I love for them to be able to want to play with it and kind of tell them the story and all that stuff. So this is going to be perfect for them. I can paint it, let it fit my uh, style, and then set it up on that little table that I have in there for them, and they can play with it, and we can read the story, and just they'll have all kind of fun with this, I'm sure. And I don't have to worry about this breaking or anything like that, and baby Jesus is big enough that hopefully he will not get lost. So that's what we're working on today. Let's get busy giving this um, nativity scene a little thrift makeover today. Get some paint, some antiquing wax on it, and then we'll do that together. And then I'll show you where I'm going to be placing it and how it all looks kind of styled on that little kid table. Let's go. I am going to just be using some leftover paint. It's heirloom white. It's actually off of a spray paint can lid that I found that I really loved. And let's see. I have some paint brushes over here that I put in a bag, but I, this one might be too big, but we're going to try it and see. This paint that I have is very, very thick. Um, so we're going to see if it's a little too much. All right, I've got these on like a little Lazy Susan because I want to do one coat and then um, see if I can get some spaghetti made for supper and then come back and put on another coat. So let's see. How this is going to go on with this brush. I think it's going to do fine. It's a little big, but um, I think it'll get the job done. Just make sure it don't have a bunch of runs. I didn't want to have to. I have another smaller brush over here. Let me see if that one's a little bit better because I feel like maybe this one's too big for this project. So I have this one too. Let me. Oh wow. What well, that one got. Okay, here we go. It was a little stiff. This one will work good at least for the edges. So, how's everybody doing? Getting busy? Ready for the holidays? It sneaks up on you, boy, I tell you. Our family's excited. We have a little trip planned, all of us together. We're going to Santa's Wonderland. I think that'll be a lot of fun. None of the little, little kids have ever been there before. So we're excited to take that trip as a family. Anybody else have plans? You know what? But you're not going to really be able to see... Um, hmm. 
which one of these is Mary. I didn't think about that. You know what? I might put, I might put a bow on her. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Like, you're not going to be able to tell probably which one is Joseph and which one is Mary. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Oh, well. We're going to roll with it and see. All right, so I'm going to finish painting this. I'll put you all on time lapse so you don't have to sit here and watch me do this with each little piece. I probably should have got some spray paint. I keep I keep saying that with these projects, but spray paint has done gotten expensive, y'all, and it's hard for me to do that when I literally have product at home. So we're just going to take the time to do it this way. Oh, well, you'll still be able to kind of see. I don't know if y'all can tell, but you'll be able to tell, I think, which one's him. All right, so. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint everybody else. I'll meet back up with y'all when I'm done. Okay, we are into the next day because I needed to let those dry overnight. And I was trying to determine if I wanted to um, put a second coat on these, but I think what I'm going to do, um, first of all, get some gloves on because I don't want this to stain in my hands. I'm going to use the ones that I used on a different project. That's why they're already looking stained up and yucky. But anyway, I, um, I kind of did a little test run I kind of did a little test run on this one you can see it just has like a hint of brown on it you can see how white this side is right here I think I'm gonna go in and do this that way I don't have to paint a second coat and it'll just kind of give it that old and then I think I might distress a little bit of the edges so here's the antiquing wax that I'm gonna use and I'm going to just lay this out so I can use it to kind of offload my brush if I need to. I'm just going to put a little bit in, in the lid because I don't need a whole lot. Probably don't even need near that much, but... Alright, and I had my little brush from a different project so I don't have to... So I didn't have to clean this brush nor get a new um, brush. So all I'm going to do is just go along and that might be a little heavy. So for these you put it on and I'm just going to wipe it, rub it all over. That's probably a little much, <laughs> but um, just keep wiping it until you kind of get it. And it'll kind of soak in. And then I want to put some on the edge here. And this way, if little dirty little fingers are picking this up and playing with it, I don't have to worry about it um, looking dirty on, on the solid white. It'll look already kind of look like that. But it's a little dark, so if you'll just push really hard, get you a you know, a clean piece of your cloth, and I'll know next time to not go so heavy, but I don't know if y'all can really tell, but that's just kind of a faint hint. Let me show you one. So here's 
like a comparison. This one's really white over here and this one is not. I also thought about kind of distressing it just with a spoon or something here along the edges. Just giving it that really rough kind of look. So you kind of get the idea. I'm just going to go around and do that all over each one of them. And you could go, if you wanted to, a little heavier just along the edges. So I have a brush that I use just to kind of offload some of this wax. Like so. so if you wanted the edges to have a little more, you could just do it like this. Kind of do, you know, kind of play around with this and just kind of do it however you want to get the look that you want. And if you're just not loving this, wipe it again. You know, like just wipe, wipe, wipe. I kind of like having the edges be a little bit darker and kind of highlighting some of these, maybe some of these little indention spots. So like, I'm gonna try it and see like if I put like little bitty, little bitty spots where some of the little indentions are, if those will highlight for me. So let's see if I can get it to do that. That way, since we painted over those things, you would still be able to kind of see a little bit of the detail. I don't know how well it's going to work, but... So yeah, kind of liking that. I'll probably go in and try to kind of wipe around some of these little heavier pieces without getting in the indention part. So it's a little tedious, but to get the desired look that you want, just kind of play around with it and take your time. So I'm going to work on doing that to the rest of these. And uh, I'll just put y'all on time lapse with some Christmas music and you can watch me in fast motion finish this nativity scene. But again, this kind of gives you an idea of before over here and after.
Okay, I have one more piece to do, and I wanted to just show y'all again what I'm doing. Um, I quit using the spoon to try to distress it because I noticed it was just really not making a difference whether I did that or not. But I thought I would show y'all because I did go back in and kind of, I don't know, what do you call it, like stifle along the edge. And I didn't do that earlier when I showed y'all. So I wanted to show you exactly what I'm doing to kind of get this look. I'm just going along the edge and putting some antique wax. And I'm not real fussy about it. don't have to be perfect. And um, let me go ahead and you can go ahead and like rub this in if you want. Just trying to get it to the desired shade. But you see how that, so this has that lovely wood grain. So that antique wax really sits in there well um, on this piece here. Or on all of them actually. But I'm just trying to get a little bit there on the edge. And we'll do the back in just a minute. But I'm just going around the edge. And I'm just going like in a upward like I said, it doesn't even have to. You'll kind of get the feel for how much you want or how much you need. And then you got all those little hay indention things in there. So I wanted to try to highlight those. So once I have this on here, I'm just taking my old rag here and I just wipe it off. Just like this. And you can kind of see some of that, how the wax kind of stays in there. So when I go put this down and apply a little more pressure to get some of that extra wax off, I try to be careful around all the little indention spots because I want that wax to sit in there and kind of highlight those areas. And I'm having a hard time because when I wipe it, it wants to come out. And I'm not going to sit here with a toothpick and fill in every one of those things. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, that's how I'm doing it. And then, of course, I'll do the other side. But let me just show y'all how I'm finishing each one of them off. I've already done all of the other ones. So once I get this, you know, kind of the desired look that I want, which I'm going to try to give that little hay right there, those little lines in that hay, a little more um, wax. And um, see if I just use the paintbrush, kind of get them down in there. And this one is my dry paintbrush. I really don't have a lot of wax on it, so I keep just wiping it off. So I'm going to go back and just try to lightly... Get that off so you can see I have more spots kind of filled in and um, of course I don't want the wax to be too dark everywhere but if you keep kind of going back over and wiping it you'll notice that more and more little spots will be kind of filled in and highlighted hope y'all can even see I'll give you an up close look here in just a minute but then what I'm doing is taking what I'm calling my dry brush and just barely, barely, barely tapping it on the other brush that has a lot of um, antique wax on it. And I'm finishing it off just by going around, around the edge just real fast like this. Just to give it that, I don't know, that finished look. And that's pretty much it. And it kind of gives it that old look around the edge. And if I feel like it's not giving me the look that I want, I want to kind of wipe off some more in the middle. So that around the edges looks just a little bit darker. You can kind of see on this one how I did it. And I can see just by looking. Like right here is pretty heavy. So oh, I need to find a clean part of this. Otherwise it's just going to. So I want to try to kind of take some of that off. And then right here looks kind of heavy. So I mean, you can just kind of play around with it. You can always wipe it. Go back over it with a little more if you want to. But like I said, I really want this to look like it has been in an old country home for years and years and years. And it's been played with over and over and over and it's wore out. That's kind of the look that I'm going for. That's why I didn't want to just leave it white because I really felt like it was just too, too plain with just the white. And, uh, and I'm going to have kids playing with this. I want them to play with this one. I want them to ask questions and be a part of, you know, the story and understand it and be able to just talk about it as they play and different things like that. So again, here I'm just doing the other side. And then I'm going to go back again just very lightly. Um, and go around all these edges. Kind of leaving the middle a little lighter. And just going along and doing like this. Like I said, you, you can't mess this up. You can wipe it off and go back over it again as many times as you want, as long as it's not good and dry. You can definitely get this how you want it. And don't overthink it. 
Like, don't, don't overthink it. It's going to look good. <laughs> and so there's that side. And I'm going to let these dry. Get my area cleaned up. And if everything looks really good like I want it to, I might go ahead and put a coat of polycrylic on it just to um, lock all the colors in and keep everything sealed. But we'll see. I might not. We'll, we'll see what I want to do with that because I don't want it to look... I think I have some matte polyacrylic because I don't want it to look shiny. Um, so we might do that, but we'll see. I'll meet back up with y'all here in just a little bit after these dry and let you know what I decided to do on the polyacrylic. And, and we'll do that together if I decide to do it. And if not, we'll go ahead and get these styled and I'll show you how they look all in place and dry. Okay, I think I'm going to start off with a couple of thrifted pieces. By the way, everything here is thrifted that you're going to see, except for the artificial Christmas trees and this little angel. And I got her actually at the Dollar General. Uh, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's where I got her. The Dollar General, it's the tag that it looks like, or the Family Dollar One. And this is the look that I was kind of going for. However, mine don't look exactly like this, but they look very similar and I'm going to add the angel to this nativity scene. So this in the trees is the only thing that was not thrifted. Like I said, this was $3. And it's so cute. But I have a thrifted, I'm not even sure what you call this. Like a little dressing table scarf or something. And then I have a thrifted big like placemat doily that I'm going to put here. Just to kind of break up the colors of the table and the nativity scene. So I just want to add a few little faux Christmas trees just because I think it makes the nativity scene and the whole area just look pretty with a, you know, just a little bit of green. I don't really know how I want to place them, so I'm just going to set a couple on there for now. And I can always add more if I want. I'm going to put them like that. And I'm putting this um, on this little kid table. This little table was actually like an end table in my living room. And then I have these two little wooden chairs, one which I thrifted and one my um, little grandson Carson gave me because I needed another one. So this is all thrifted and I want them to be able to see this when they first walk in so they know they can sit and play with it since it's at their table. So we're going to put Mary and Joseph over here and baby Jesus right there. And then I'm going to put the two little animals kind of in the back because I have this one that got chewed up I guess by a dog or something so I kind of want to put it in the back and kind of cover that part that's messed up a little bit put the two little animals back there and then I want to put this angel see how kind of close she looks to mine put the angel back here and then I think I want to add another tree or something maybe Maybe over here to kind of fill in. And then maybe one right here. I think the green just really makes that nativity scene pop. Oh my goodness, y'all. I love it. Let's see. 